Ready B? We've got Clive here. Lunch time. Come on. There's um, a bit of something coming on here. Roof's off. And Darren's... Ah. I'm um, mounting some threaded holes in the cab roof it? to put this starfire receiver can clip onto the tractor. Yeah. But being cheap, our tractor doesn't already have the brackets yeah. on. Ugh. It has one of those. And one of those. That would be a computer. Yeah, we just got the roof off. I think Chris is going to have to me and lift this back on now. I just built with the bracket on the roof here. Um, all the holes and everything are already there. It's just a case of putting the little threaded attachment doodads in. And then um receiver sort of hooks on. There's a... Uh, just hooks on the top and just clamps on the bottom. And um, yeah, so we'll put this over here and get this roof on. I'll um, just... Right, next job. Put your screws in around. Uh, well, because this has got to come off again in a day or two, we're just going to put the big bolts in. There. And there. And Darren's going to... Uh, Darren's just going to demount the receiver. Like so. Uh, not too bad for the OEM, I reckon, for a um, for a home brew job. Like Chris said, we've got to take the roof off again anyway, because um, I'm still waiting for an adapter cable to turn up. Um, but I'll do that same time as I have to rip the interior out again to run the cables down to the computer. But with um, the genuine, genuine John Deere receiver, thinking then we can just unhook it off here and um, hook it on the combine and the. Side. There we go, for anyone interested, that's the program I'm using for the actual guidance. Um, so that's running under Windows, which is quite cool because it means you can do other stuff as well. Not that I provoke using YouTube while driving a tractor, but <laughs> it is quite useful. I've got it plumbed into the radio so you can play the sound straight through to the computer. <laughs>